Hello, I'm Teacher Robin. Welcome to another live streaming class. If this is your first time to join us, let me explain how the classes work. Today, we're going to be talking about pronunciation. I'm going to help you pronounce uh, 27 words that you might be pronouncing wrong. So if you have a question during the class, you can write your question in the comment section and I'll be checking your comments as we go along. So today's topic, uh, many of you say that one of the most difficult uh, things about learning English is pronunciation because there are many rules, there are many exceptions. So uh, we're going to go through 27, to be specific, words that uh, English learners have a hard time pronouncing. So I'm going to give you the word, the definition, and I'm going to use it in a sentence, all right? So let's get started, okay? The first word is thoroughly, okay? So this word means very much, greatly, and in a thorough manner. For example, Jane thoroughly enjoyed the film. All right, another word that is difficult to pronounce, gorgeous, gorgeous. This means beautiful or very attractive. For example, the view from your terrace is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so you can actually, if you're watching from home, you can pronounce the word if you're uh, by yourself you can uh, practice your pronunciation as I'm teaching you right now, okay? If you feel comfortable doing that, then feel free to practice your pronunciation as we go along, okay? Another word, particularly, okay? Particularly, which means to a higher degree than is usual or average. For example, at that restaurant, I particularly recommend the prime rib. Overdue. This means not having arrived, happened, or been done by the expected time. For example, Steve feels he's overdue for a promotion. Okay, another word, world. Okay, so with this L, it makes it a little bit complicated, but uh, it's pronounced world, which is the earth, all the people, uh, places, and things in it. For example, what's the tallest building in the world? Okay, height. This is complicated because there are so many vowels in the world, in the in the word. Excuse me, in the word, but it's pronounced height. Okay, the distance from the top to the bottom of something. Okay, for example, I am the same height as my sister, okay? This is a word that's difficult for me even to pronounce because it is an English, a British English word uh, that we don't use often in America, but it's Worcestershire, okay, Worcestershire. So this is a country in Western Central England. It's also a kind of sauce, uh, so Worcestershire. My English teacher, for example, is from Worcestershire. All right, squirrel. This is an animal, a kind of animal, small, covered in fur with a long tail. For example, I saw a squirrel in my yard this morning. Okay, another word that's difficult to pronounce, sixth. Many students have trouble with this TH sound, especially at the end of a word, the th it, it kind of feels weird. Um, but yes, it's pronounced sixth. Okay, so kind of your tongue is actually pointing out of your mouth uh, when you pronounce it. Uh, this is an ordinal number, one of six equal parts of something. Okay, for example, this is the author's sixth book. Okay, so if you're watching from home, say it a few times. Sixth, sixth, and watch the shape of, uh, of your mouth as you're pronouncing this word. That's kind of helpful to remember. Okay, another difficult word to pronounce, schedule, schedule, all right? This is a list of planned activities or things to be done showing the times and the dates, okay? For example, let me check my schedule to see if I'm available. All right, 
This month of the year is difficult to pronounce. It's February, okay? It's not February as it's written, it's February, okay? So ignore the R here. And uh, it's the second month of the year after January and before March. For example, Valentine's Day is February 14th, okay? Vegetable, vegetable, okay? Uh, you could say vegetable, but actually most people say vegetable. We eliminate this E here. Uh, when we pronounce it, it's a plant, root, seed, or pod that is used as food. For example, I made vegetable lasagna for dinner. Okay, a drought here. Again, this O-U-G-H-T ending is complicated for people. It's pronounced drought, and it means a long period when there is little or no rain. For example, the drought damaged all the crops in the area. Okay, uh, this one is difficult for some people because of the, the two R's, rural, okay? It's pronounced rural, and it means of relating to or characteristic of the country, country life, or country people. For example, I grew up in a rural town. Okay, here again we have a U-G-H-T ending. This one is caught, which is the past simple of catch. Okay, the verb to catch, the past is caught, so it's an irregular verb. All right, let's see it in a sentence. The thief was caught taking money from the safe. Okay. This one is not pronounced at all like it's spelled. You would think it would be colonel, right? Because of the L's, it's actually pronounced colonel, okay? And a colonel is an office in the US Army, Air Force, or Marine Corps, okay? A colonel. For example, I had to follow the colonel's orders, okay? Another one with lots of vowels, which makes it confusing, is anemone, okay? An anemone is a garden plant with red, purple, or white flowers, a Japanese plant. For example, Japanese anemones are my favorite plants, okay? We're getting closer. We're almost reaching our 27 uh, words. Obviously, there are many more than that difficult to pronounce in the English language, but I hope you're still with us practicing pronouncing from home. Okay, let's keep going. Comfortable, okay? Not comfortable, but comfortable, all right? Providing physical ease and relaxation. For example, my new sofa is so comfortable. Okay, another one, throughout, okay? Throughout means in every part of a place or an object. For example, the police search for evidence throughout the house. Okay, choir, all right? This one is confusing because the CH, sometimes we think it should be pronounced with a ch sound, but here the H is silent. So it's choir, which means a group, uh, an organized group of singers. For example, the children's choir performance was lovely. Okay, another word, alias. Alias is a false name used to conceal one's identity. For example, the author used an alias. All right, another word, literature. All right, literature. These are books and writing, uh, other writings published on a particular subject. For example, I really enjoy reading German literature. Okay, a course, all right, for example, the ABBA course, a set of classes on a particular subject. So the ABBA English is, or ABBA English is an online English course. Okay, so the O pronunciation. Okay, candidate, candidate. This is a person who is competing to get a job or elected position. For example, each candidate gave a short speech. Okay, culture, a uh, way of living or a particular, of a particular group at a particular time. Okay, for example, I love learning about a new culture every time I travel. All right, 
average. Average is a standard uh, or level that is considered to be typical or usual. For example, what is the average salary in your field of work? Okay, we're getting closer. A few more. Sausage. Sausage is a thin tube-like casing containing meat made that has been cut into small pieces and mixed with spices. Okay, this is very typical in many countries. Sausage, for example, I eat eggs and sausage for breakfast every Saturday. And on that note, we have completed our review of 27 difficult words to pronounce. Okay, I know that was a lot. I hope you have practiced from home pronouncing these words. Now I want you to write in the comments. I'm going to ask you a couple questions. You can answer them. Which words do you have trouble pronouncing? Okay, so you can uh, choose a couple that I've provided for you. Or if there's one that I haven't mentioned that you say, oh, I never know how to pronounce this word, then please let me know in the comments, okay? And uh, maybe you can practice by writing a sentence or two or three or 27 with the uh, vocabulary words that we've just learned, okay? That you've just seen and that you've just learned how to pronounce correctly, okay? So as you're doing that, let me tell you more about our course at ABBA. If you want to continue practicing your pronunciation and improve your English skills, you can uh, sign up for our course at abbaenglish.com. We have our course available on web and uh, mobile versions, so you can take it with you wherever you go. Our course is complete from beginners to business level. It's based on short films, so you watch a short film, and then a teacher explains the grammar from the film, and you complete exercises that cover all of your skills, reading, writing, listening, and speaking. So that is all covered in our course. Uh, for more information, go to abbottenglish.com. You can also find us on all of the social media channels. We are on Facebook, of course. We're on Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram, and we are posting new content on those channels every day. So it's a great way to learn something, a quick lesson, every day with us here at Abba English. Okay, so I see some people are still writing their answers in the comments, so I'll give you some more time. Even if I don't answer your question during the live class, I'm happy to do it uh, later. I'll be checking your comments. And I just want to let you know that next week uh, is International Internet Day. So we will be talking about all kinds of vocabulary related to the internet, which is obviously one of the most popular subjects uh, nowadays. So I hope you can join us same time next week. I'd like to thank everyone who joined us. I hope this has cleared up some of your doubts about pronunciation. Uh, remember that this video, you can find it in the video section of, uh, the, of Facebook later on so you can uh, watch it again and practice and keep repeating until you have these words down in your mind with the correct pronunciation. So thanks again for watching. I'll check your comments later on and have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye.